You're listening to the Mind Over Finger podcast, episode number 130. This is a Try It At Home short. Welcome to the Mind Over Finger podcast, discussions on mindful music making, efficient practice, and building a purposeful career. And now, your host, violinist, teacher, and high performance coach for musicians, Dr. Rene Paul Gautier. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this episode of the Try It At Home series. In this series, I offer suggestions on how you can take some of the wisdom from the latest interview of the Mind Over Finger podcast, try it at home, and make it your own. Let's unpack my guests' awesome insight together and apply it in our lives. Before we launch into today's tip, if you're hearing this near its release date in May of 2022, It means that enrollment for the Music Mastery Experience is officially open, but you're running out of time because we're starting very soon and the program is filling up. The Music Mastery Experience is my groundbreaking, highly personalized group coaching program that promises you not only an amazing transformation over a short amount of time, but coaching and mentorship for life. That's right. The Music Mastery Experience is going to give you all of the techniques, all the systems and the methods you need to elevate your playing and performing to new heights and the ongoing support to grow your career and tackle and reach big goals. If you're ready to crack the code to start performing at your best and to experience fulfillment in your music career, the Music Mastery Experience is for you. If you're wanting to win that job, to rug the stage, grow your career, you're wanting to make more money, go to mindoverfinger.com right now to book your free success planning conversation with me right now and get your transformation started today. Stay tuned for more details at the end. And in this episode, we revisit the fantastic wisdom of mezzo-soprano, coach, entrepreneur, and new music champion, Megan Enan, from episode 129. And if you haven't had a chance yet, make sure to catch our conversation because it's packed with tons of great information and amazing insight. First, let's listen to what Megan shared plan ahead for the hard feelings, Mm. plan ahead for the moments that what will you do when you feel professional jealousy? What will you do when you're feeling worried about money? What will you feel when you're, what will you do when you're feeling burnt out on, you know, auditioning or performing or whatever? Think ahead right now, if you're feeling really great about what you're doing, If you're feeling really great about money, if you're feeling really great about auditions, if you're feeling really great about whatever, then take that moment and say, like, what would I do? What would I tell somebody who was struggling with this right now? And honest to God, like, write it out, put it in a Google Doc. I don't care. Like, put it in your like in case of emergency vault. (laughs) And then and maybe that's just collecting nice things that people have said about you so that when you're feeling like should I keep doing this? You go back and you go, Oh yeah, look at all these people that sent me a nice, a nice email once, you know, or I got this great review, whatever it is, but plan ahead because everybody has those moments and we don't necessarily broadcast them as much as, as some of the other things, you know, there's no thrilled to announce I'm going through, (laughs) going through like burnout at the moment. Um, But it's okay to think through that and say like, okay, well, what would I tell somebody that was going through that when I'm not? And then give that to yourself for those moments that it will inevitably show up in your life. And, and it's okay. It doesn't mean that you're doing it wrong. It just means that this is how we navigate those waters. How great is this? Also, how true is it that we rarely plan on ways to support ourselves when we're in these valleys? And I want to repeat what Megan said at the end. Those valleys are part of the journey. It doesn't mean that we're doing anything wrong. 
I love this idea of drawing from the inspiration and strength and joy we feel when we're on those peaks to help us navigate the waters of what's waiting for us when we come down from them. So ask yourself, and don't forget to do it on paper or in writing, anywhere. Just make sure you take it out of your head and log it somewhere. And for you, I've created a free companion guide that has the transcription of Megan's insight, as well as some prompts for you to build that in case of emergency vault. You can download it to continue the reflection by going to mindoverfinger.com slash resources, and I will have that link for you in the show notes. So next time things feel pretty good, sit down ask questions, and answer yourself. How am I feeling right now? What are all the ways I showed up for myself? What are all the ways I can celebrate myself right now? What am I doing that's working? What am I proud of having accomplished? What did I do to get to this place where I am today? What are my favorite things about myself? What compliments do people offer me? What would I tell someone who's struggling? What was hard? What are all the obstacles I faced and overcame? How did I do that? What am I grateful for? What are some of the many blessings in my life? What am I grateful to myself for? And so on and so forth. You see how this works? So keep going. If you haven't done this before, doing this kind of reflection or even writing a love and appreciation letter to yourself is something very powerful, not only to help you take in and notice all the amazing things that you are, but also to support you moving forward. So I hope you have a great time exploring this tip and let me know how that went by either emailing me at mindoverfinger at gmail.com or by reaching out on social media. I'm mindoverfinger both on Instagram and Facebook. I love hearing how everyone takes in the insight and plays with it and adapts it and this collective wisdom is so inspiring. So let me know. Don't forget to catch my conversation with Megan in episode 129. Reach out to her on social and catch her work on her website. All those links are in the show notes. And if you enjoy tips like this one, if you're looking for ways to deepen your practice and elevate your playing and take your career to the next level, check out the Music Mastery Experience at mindoverfinger.com before the doors close in only a couple of weeks. In the Music Mastery Experience, you're going to go through a massive transformation. We cover everything from practice methods that work, to performance preparation strategies that have you perform with confidence consistently, and powerful life coaching and mind management techniques that will remove the obstacles and self-limiting beliefs that hold you back in your career and your life. If you're done with not seeing results for the endless amount of work, of time, and energy that you put in the practice room, go to mindoverfinger.com right now to book your free conversation with me and let's get your transformation started today. No more indecision, no more band-aids or short-term solutions. The Music Mastery Experience is unlike any other program out there because we go beyond the strategies and methods. You're going to get an entire foolproof system to performing at your best, but we don't stop there. We get to the root cause of issues. We unlock everything that's keeping you stuck, and you're going to start experiencing amazing results, not only on stage, but at every level of your music making experience and your life. You're going to see results from our very first session, and you're not going to believe what you're capable to accomplish within a short amount of time. And as I shared at the beginning, the Music Mastery experience is radical because once you're in, you're in for life. Once you join, you're going to have constant support month after month to keep reaching new heights and realizing new, bigger, and bolder dreams. All of this is done in a small, inclusive, and private environment where you're going to feel supported, inspired, and motivated, and the spots are filling up, so don't hesitate. 
So if you have big dreams, big plans, and you're ready for more in your musical life, book a call today at mindoverfinger.com and let's make it happen. That's what I have for you today. As always, you can find all the information related to this episode in the show notes or at mindoverfinger.com slash resources. And that includes the PDF companion to this episode and the link to sign up for the Music Mastery Experience. Be well, my friends. Thank you so much for listening and à bientôt. Thank you.